The question is, if Donald Trump gets back in power, what freedom will you lose next? President Joe Biden is taking a more aggressive approach in his campaign ads in his race this time around against presumptive Republican nominee, former President Donald Trump. While this year's general election may have the same candidates as in 2020, Biden's campaign ads this year are more aggressive in their anti-Trump sentiment than in 2020. Four years ago, Biden tried to put himself above political squabbling, but now he's attacked Trump on some personal matters. Following his very political State of the Union address, where Biden refused to call Trump by name, but rather as his predecessor, he quadrupled his ad spending. In his ads, Biden discusses his age. Look, I'm very young, energetic, and handsome. What the hell am I doing this for? This comes in light of Biden breaking Trump's record for the oldest president to be inaugurated. Trump is only four years younger, and Biden, 81, has tried to stay ahead of jabs at his age. Following the Arizona Supreme Court's ruling on abortion that essentially outlawed the procedure in the swing state, Biden launched an ad blitz across the state. In the ads, he pointed to Trump taking credit for being the reason Roe v. Wade was overturned in 2022. Because of Donald Trump, millions of women lost the fundamental freedom to control their own bodies. And now, women's lives are in danger because of that. Your body and your decisions belong to you. Not the government, not Donald Trump. I will fight like hell to get your freedom back. A 60-second abortion ad in Arizona from the Biden campaign highlights a Texas woman's story about how she almost died due to the Texas abortion ban. Gonna maybe wear home from the hospital. All of these. Um, this is... The blanket that she was in. Biden also used Trump's own words against him in campaigns. He launched a campaign ad using Trump's bloodbath comments, in which he warned of a bloodbath if he does not win the 2024 election. In one ad, footage of the white supremacist rally that took over Charlottesville, Virginia, in 2017 is shown over Trump's words. The ad ends with Stop Trump displayed on the screen. Are you willing to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? Stand back and stand by. Please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. With the election now about six months away, it's unclear if the Biden campaign's more aggressive strategy will prove winning on the election day in November.